A couple of weeks ago, after I found out that I would be speaking this morning, I asked Mr. Fershner about what on earth I should tell you guys, and uh, he gave me a fairly direct answer by saying, uh, the theme of the year is service, but you should talk about something that you're passionate about. So it's my pleasure to talk to you about two of my passions, appreciation and gratitude for the world around us, and using our environment to learn and grow as young adults. I've lived on this island for nearly 19 years, being born at the hospital right in town. This is my 13th year at HPA, having progressed all the way through from kindergarten to my senior year. 25 years ago, my parents stood in this chapel, and about two feet in front of me, they got married. You can imagine that this place means the world to me. I, use, I get the questions all the time that sound like, how have you liked HPA? How have you liked growing up in Hawaii? And regardless of who I'm talking to, my answers are usually the same. I wouldn't change it for anything. I'm grateful for every day that I've spent here because I've learned to recognize the way that my environment has shaped who I am. I know that my experience growing up here has pointed me in a very specific direction for my own development. And I know that I appreciate everything that I've been blessed with in this world. I appreciate the people that I've met over the years and the way that each of them have influenced me. There's not many students that look at their time in school with an entirely positive regard, but I know that I do. Some of the most influential people that I've met in my life have been through my education here at HPA, and the love that this community shows its members is remarkable. I appreciate my family for everything they've done and continue to do for me. They've blessed me with so much more than I could come close to mentioning in this speech. For example, a world-class education accompanied by a tremendous amount of love and support. I appreciate you guys, all of you. My friends for helping me create memories that I'll value long after we're done here. My classmates for helping me survive academically. All of you that greet me with a kind smile as we pass, I appreciate you. I appreciate my rivals and my hardships. I appreciate my rivals for helping me be a better version of myself in order to be successful. As two of my loving grandparents passed away, I learned to appreciate beautiful things because they don't last forever. I appreciate adversity that I've experienced for making me stronger, regardless of how terrible things seem in the moment. Learning to be grateful and learning to appreciate your blessings is a challenge in itself. It's too easy to forget about what we have in life. However, learning to be grateful is only half the battle. The second half is all about what you do with it. What are you going to do with everyone's support? What are you going to do with your outstanding education? What are you going to do with all the priceless life experiences that we all have? I challenge you to become something great. Everyone thought our boys' soccer team would be pretty good this year. People believed in us, our parents believed in us, our coaches believed in us, you guys believed in us, and even other teams believed in us. We had all three of our coaches taking times out of their busy lives to meet with us as early as last spring, planning out the last season. We had parents that were 100% invested in us. We had you guys who were always there to congratulate every step of success along the way. We had each other who we looked to when we needed to be reminded how hard we'd need to work. We had too much invested in us to just say thank you. While still necessary, a simple thank you wasn't enough. After we took 15 to 20 hours out of each coach's week for the entirety of the season, we weren't going to leave with merely a thanks for everything. We'll work harder next year. After thousands and thousands of dollars were invested into our team, we weren't going to tell everyone thanks for the money, but we'll work harder next year. After you guys showed up to our home games and even our away games, we weren't going to tell you guys thanks for coming, but we'll work harder next year. We put our heads down and worked. We grinded together as one towards a common goal of becoming the best. And this was our thank you. Battling team after team all the way through the state finals was our thank you. More importantly, our work ethic and our commitment to our passion was our thank you. Our 15 to 20 hours a week on the soccer field, even more in the weight room, was our thank you. The best way to show appreciation to those who have supported us is through action. 
While I still urge you to actually tell others thank you, because it does go a long way, I challenge you to show it too. I challenge all of you to show your gratitude for your blessings. I challenge you to think of everyone who loves you, think of everyone who supports you, and do something for yourself for them. Do what you want to do and be great at it. Learn about it, work at it, find your passion and grind for it, and let that be your thank you. Recognize your blessings and live your thank you. Although this speech is my thank you in a way, I'd like to still verbalize my thanks to you all. Thank you for your support and inspiration. Thank you for taking the time this morning to listen. It's truly an honor. Seniors, I hope this message resonates with you guys as we're about to embark on another chapter in our lives. And to all others, I hope you feel inspired to recognize the beautiful world around you, not only here at HPA, but everywhere. I hope you feel inspired to show your thanks through your actions. I love you guys. Thank you.